a great time of year. We look forward to hot cocoa and cool weather and fall colors and fall cleaning and grabbing out our winter clothes and all that fun stuff. When I saw the new Anastasia palette, I had to have it. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't seen her, this is what she looks like. I was a little stumped when I first got here. The first thing I noticed was the packaging was so similar to the other Anastasia palettes, which I thought, oh my gosh, old school, right? And then I swatched them and there was a few shades in there that were gritty and didn't swatch very well. I'll insert the swatches for you. The shade Divine feels extremely gritty and it looks darker in the pan than it does on your finger, if you can see that. But I did create an eye look and I used as many colors as possible and they did blend very well. The only color I did not use was Thorns. And let me see, Thorns, this one here. And then Ember and Nope, I, I did use Mulberry. Yeah, I used the other ones to create this look and I really do like it. I am so looking, it's a little chilly here today. I'm actually kind of excited about that. I'm so looking forward to continuing to use this palette throughout the fall. This might just be the palette that I constantly go to. The colors are absolutely beautiful as if, you know, you can't see for yourself, right? So everything did blend well. You do have a mirror in this palette. It was $59. It was a little bit more expensive, um, but the pans are bigger. Let me get another eyeshadow palette and show you. All right, so I pulled out some oldies. We have the Sultry palette. We have the Jackie Ina palette. We have the famous modern Renaissance. Let me show you. Okay, yeah, she's very loved. Look at the difference. Yeah. So I get why it's a little bit more expensive. This one was either 45 and I think some of the other ones were like 49, um, but this is definitely bigger. I'm pretty sure it has more product. This is 12 month expiration. So another difference with the older palettes is they included a brush, which I don't, <laughs> I never really used anyway, I'll be honest with you. I mean, you might use it the first couple times, but then you go back to your other brushes. So I do think that it is worth it. I'm gonna be doing a couple of different looks. If you wanna see a full tutorial, let me know that down in the comments. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, I think that you guys would definitely enjoy it if you like these colors. And some of them, like I said, they have different textures, the eyeshadow, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. Some are gritty, some feel like butter, you know? It's just weird. But anyhow, that's everything that I have for you on the Anastasia Beverly Hills of Fall Rama Romance Palette. I cannot talk today. So that's everything I have for you on the Fall Romance Palette. You can get it on Anastasia's website or in Ulta or Sephora. And if you have any questions for me, put them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.